This is a Security Weekly production. This episode of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by IT Pro TV. With IT Pro TV, you gain access to the most important tools needed to prepare for your IT certification. IT Pro TV has thousands of hours of up to date, high quality video content. Course topics include CCNP, CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, Ethical Hacking, Virtualization, Cryptography, SSH, Microsoft Server 2016, and more. You can stream their courses live and on demand to your Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or mobile device. They have one low monthly subscription price and you can cancel at any time. Corporate pricing is available, and clients include Harvard, MIT, UCSD, Stanford, and more. Check out itpro.tv forward slash hacknaked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code hacknaked30 for a free seven-day trial and save 30% off for life. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. Welcome to Hack Naked TV for April 7th, 2016, broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian, filling in for Aaron Lyons, who is out today on assignment, likely captured by ninjas or llamas, or maybe ninja llamas. In the news this week, your car's computer might soon get malware protection. Antivirus software is coming to your car. Okay, well, more like whitelisting software for ECUs, as the anti-malware technology prevents any code that's not part of the factory settings from running on the ECU. The technology builds a whitelist of all the binaries, processes, scripts, and network behavior that the ECU manufacturer intended and blocks everything else. So make sure you update your antivirus software on your car at your next oil change. Ubuntu uh, patches some kernel vulnerabilities. Kernel vulnerabilities in Ubuntu's implementation of the Linux kernel were patched version 12, 14, and 15 should be updated to the latest versions. These fixes include two denial of service conditions and one denial of service condition with the potential for remote code execution. If you're running Ubuntu 15.10 on a Raspberry Pi 2, there are some additional patches just for you. OSVDB shuts down for good. OSVDB was a great resource for the security community, but due to the lack of participation and support from the community, they've made the decision to shut down. I'd like to thank all those involved for keeping the project going for so long. The OSVDB blog will continue and hopefully provide snarky commentary to the security vulnerabilities being released. As if this show doesn't provide enough snarky commentary. Flash Zero Day is in the wild. A critical vulnerability, CVE 2016-1019, exists in Adobe Flash Player 21.0.0.197 and earlier. Exploits are in the wild for Windows platform, but if you use Flash, you want to be on the latest version regardless of which platform you're on. However, who knows just how many more vulnerabilities are going to be exposed in Flash, so better not to use it at all or heavily restrict your browser from loading Flash objects. FBI claims that people have lost $2.3 billion in the latest round of email phishing scams targeted at CEOs. Krebs was reporting an increase in CEO impersonation phishing attacks. Acting as the CEO, they request a wire transfer and wire themselves some money. Apparently, it's working as the total, as I said, is now $2.3 billion. Make certain you have a business process in place to approve wire transfers in person rather than relying on email. That's Hack Naked TV for this week. I've been your host, Paul Asadori, and make sure you check out all the latest security news on securityweekly.com. <laughs>